Hello students, welcome to Vyas Edification Quota. In this series of NCRT discussion, we'll continue further with Mathematics class 12th and the chapter that we're dealing with is Integrals. It is time to discuss exercise number 7.3. Now this particular exercise is based on uh, applications, applications of substitution basically. And these applications actually involve something called trigonometric identities, right? So from the chapter trigonometric functions, you have studied something called sin x plus sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2 something of that sort product to sum sum to product right something of that sort and accordingly you have also studied something called multiple and sub multiple angle formulae so all of those things are useful for integrating various types of functions as we'll be discussing over here so along with the questions the questions from the point of integration are pretty simple they are not very complicated from the point of integration but they have to be simplified in an in a form which is integrable right that's very important so that simplification process requires some formula of trigonometry right so along with the questions we'll be seeing the required formula and you'll be revising everything with us we'll be going through all the concepts and understanding everything with us right so let's begin with the first question over here the question says okay find the integrals of the functions in exercises 1 to 22 that's the question and uh, you're given sine square of 2x plus 5 now that 2x plus 5 is actually not such a big problem there's another big problem over there and what is that sine square okay we know the integral of sine but we don't know the integral of sine square right so how do we find the integral of sine square let's take a look at this integral of sine square x dx this is question mark so this sine square x cannot be solved directly but we know one identity of this sine square which says okay cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x oh this is an identity of cos 2x yes but the important thing is that power 2 was an issue so power 2 has to be reduced to power 1 in some manner right so reducing the power reducing the power to power 1 will actually convert this x into 2x in a multiple angle right in this manner and that is what we'll be doing so from here i observe that sine square x this sine square x is actually equal to 1 minus cos 2x upon 2 this is what we have and this is something which you should remember this is something that you should remember at all times right okay so sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x by 2 therefore integral of this i equals integral of sine square 2x plus 5 dx can be written equal to there's a 2 in the denominator 1 minus cos of twice the angle so let's bring that 2 outside that is 2 in the reciprocal 1 minus cos of twice this angle which is 4x plus 10 this is what you get and this is what i want to integrate now integration of 1 is not a difficult thing yes this is 1 by 2 is outside integration of 1 is simply x right cos of something cos of something if that function is a linear function we can integrate that very easily right this 4x plus 10 can be substituted as t and you can replace 4 times dx with dt or in other words you can directly take this as a linear function of x and integrate without worrying about anything in the end you just divide by 4 divide this particular term by 4 mile, not the whole term so you have cos of x what is the integral of cos of x that's sin x right so you get minus of sin 4x 10 and this sin 4x plus 10 there is a coefficient of x which is there you have to divide with that 4 over here a constant term will be added that's a complete integral yes let's simplify this further this is actually x by 2 minus 1 by 8 sin of 4x plus 10 plus constant and that is the required answer for this question as you can see with the help of this and another result which we have been seeing since the previous exercise and since the first exercise only that if integral of fx dx is equal to gx plus c then integral of f of linear function linear polynomial of x this f of ax plus b will be equal to g of ax plus b 
whole divided by this a plus constant right that's what you have if this is true then this becomes true right and this can be proved with a simple idea of substitution we have seen in the previous exercise right okay so once again the integral of cos something is sine that something and divided by that 4 that's the important thing and that's the final answer for this first question and that's a complete solution for this question over here